three, two, one. Yeah, yeah, oh, it's your boy, Fried Chicken. This is a free for all on the map interchange. I'm using the Type 95 with two attachments, and the attachments are silencer and red dot. I'm also using the stun grenades with the C4. Uh, pretty much my one of my favorite combinations for equipment. And I want to talk to you a little bit about basketball stuff, which I think is pretty interesting when it comes to what I am going to be talking about a little bit later in the video. But first, I kind of want to start off with uh, this Type 95 stuff. So recently, I was in the game using the Type 95. I play, I've been playing a lot of Search and Destroy lately. And, you know, these, this guy was just giving me such a hard time. He was just saying, oh, I'm using the Type 95, which is an easy weapon to use, and it's cheap, and all this stuff. But you know what? I don't think so. I don't think it's a cheap weapon. I don't think it's that easy to use either. And I'll give you a couple reasons why. First of all, up close, the Type 95, it's going to be better to aim down sight, which you're going to be at a disadvantage when it comes to somebody who knows how to hip fire an SMG. So you're pretty much going to die every time unless you just get really lucky or you've been using Type 95 through multiple prestiges and you just come so familiar with the weapon. Now obviously it's going to be better when you have Stalker, but with this class setup I'm actually running Marathon and I am running Dead Silence because like I said, it's my Search and Destroy class, but once you get all the perks don't really have to worry about what you started with you're gonna have everything and once you get stalker mixed with dead silence you're gonna be completely quiet and able to aim down sight so the close quarter combat is gonna get a little bit easier but you have to get eight kills before that even happens so uh, keep that in mind now like I said close range not a good gun it's gonna be okay if you really know how to use it and if you really are in the mindset of if you should aim down sight or not, or if you should hip fire. Now, long range, this gun is also useless. The only benefit that it comes from, from uh, that it gets, gives you with long range, and as you can see, I put two bursts into that guy. The only benefit it's going to give you is if you're wearing recon. You're going to be able to hit an enemy at long range. And allow him to show up on the mini map for the next 10 seconds. And that's if he does not have dead silence. That's pretty much going to be the only benefit using this gun long range. Now, a lot of people might look at this and say, oh, you have a silencer on. Um, that's going to cause you to have multiple hit markers at long range. But this weapon, trust me, I use it a lot. Um, especially as soon as I unlock it, I use it. This weapon is going to have the same type of hit detection or damage, I think, with or without the silencer. I mean, I've experienced it either way. And I mean, I do have on Scorpion, so when I do get into those close range battles, I can get out of it uh, barely, as you can see right there with my life. So, and then you obviously get lucky sometimes, and that happens. So, I would just challenge you, try to use the game, see if you can get a beast gameplay, or even a score like this or better, 30, 30 and 8 on free-for-all. This is just regular core free-for-all, obviously. And then I'll take a look at it, and, you know, I'll even uh, consider posting it up on the channel. Like, you know, maybe get somebody some exposure. Now... The other thing I wanted to talk about, basketball-wise, first is Metal World Peace. And if you don't know what's going on with Metal World Peace, then look up Meta World Peace, M-E-T-T-A-W-O-R-L-D-P-E-A-C-E, -E, all three words. Look up Metal World Peace Elbows Harden, H-A-R-D-E-N. So the this happened uh, April 20-something, 3rd or something like that. And as you can see, I'm fighting for this free-for-all. There's a guy who tied me. Uh, but this happened in April, late April, where Metal World Peace, who used to be Ron Artest, 
And if you know anything about basketball, I've been watching it. You know that Ron Artest is brutal. He's like the caveman, Neanderthal of the NBA. So he's just completely brutal and pr uh, like primal. So he changed his name to Metal World Peace because he wants this whole image of violence. And he's actually been making a lot of strides toward being, you know, a more thoughtful player and um, adding to the NBA as just a person with a lot of respect for the other players of the game as well as the fans and officials but recently like i said late april he elbowed this guy after a dunk on a couple of this guy's teammates he dunked he celebrated as he was celebrating the dunk this guy harden i can't remember his first name uh, made contact with world metal world peace as he was celebrating and at that point it definitely looks like from the video that Metal World Peace elbow hard as hard as he could. And Harden actually suffered a concussion. If you look at this video on YouTube, this elbow was life changing, dude. This elbow was devastating. And how I equate it is that yeah, Metal World Peace intentionally elbowed him. I don't think he's uh, specifically picking on Harden, but I just think that Harden is also responsible because I equate bumping into Metal World Peace, aka Ron Artest, while he's celebrating after a dunk, it's kind of like stepping in front of a train. You know, the train is the aggressor, but it's still your responsibility to move out of his way. Let me know what you think about the Type 95 and Metal World Peace's elbow and put that stuff down in the comments. Thanks for tuning in. Peace out.